guys, welcome back to my channel. So I'm going on a weekend getaway, I'm gonna call it. I'm just going away for the weekend and I figured it'd be fun to just show you what I'm bringing in my makeup bag and my cosmetics slash toiletry bag. So let's just get started. I bring this really big Victoria's Secret toiletry bag when I go away. It's got like a fishnet print on it and I just think it's really cute. And the bow, I mean, hello, you had me at bow. It fits a lot of stuff and I definitely recommend if you can find something this size, it fits into your luggage really well. And you can, I mean, probably fit most everything you'd like in it. I mean, I totally get you if you can't. Because I would like to bring more, I'll tell you that much. Okay, so that is a little preview of what's in it and I'm just going to go through everything. So the first thing I have is a little shower cap in this little box. I don't need to wash my hair that frequently, but I do like shower every day. So shower caps, guys, they come in handy. They're good times for all. My new favorite Essie color, Splash of Grenadine. I have this Fresh Soy Face Cleanser. Not really my favorite cleanser in the world, but it is in a good travel-friendly bottle, so. I have my current night cream that I'm using, which is the Origins Nitamins. I did a review if you want to go check it out if you're interested in this product, but no pressure if you don't want to. I have this Clinique Acne Solutions Healing Gel. I don't use a lot of like acne products. I have very dry skin, but you know like when you go away or it's always the worst times you always get skin issues at the worst times so i am prepared body spray from victoria's secret pink line and this is surf party i basically just like the color and i like that it says surf party it smells pretty nice too next i have some tea tree oil and i mix this with a bit of water because it's too harsh otherwise and I'll occasionally just use this all over my face to kill off any bacteria if I feel an angry skin time of brewing. I'm not like a total brush girl like I would like to be, but I just rather spend my money on like my makeup hoard than brushes, so this is just, you know, like a 10 year old bronzer brush. I have a mini all nighter spray from Urban Decay. Then I have my absolute favorite cleanser. It is the Peter Thomas Roth Anti-Aging Gel Cleanser. Next I have some just strawberry lip balm. This is just from the Smiths brand and I get this at Sephora. I have a lip pencil from Too Faced in the color Perfect Pink. It's like a really, really expensive pencil for how much product you get in here. So if any of you know a dupe for this pencil, I would enjoy that. Thank you. Good night and good luck. No, I'm still going. We're going strong. I have my favorite BB cream, Dr. Jart's Premium BB cream. I won't bore you with this because it's pretty much mentioned in every one of my videos, so sorry. I have my deodorant, and this is the Secret Clear Gel Scent Expressions and Ooh La La Lavender. This is the only deodorant that I will use. I love it because it's clear and I like to wear a lot of black so it doesn't mess up my clothing. Recommend it if you're in the market for a deodorant. I have Visine. I really hate to use Visine because I have heard that there is like bleach in them, which not surprised, anti-redness. Uh, but, oh my gosh, my allergies have been trying to kill me this spring. So, they gotta come. It's gotta happen. Then I have a little mini of the Laura Mercier Flawless Skin Face Polish. This stuff is awesome. The grains are really, really fine and it foams ever so slightly. It's just a lovely product. Laura Mercier was actually like the first skincare line I used as like a grown-up person. Like I can call myself a grown-up person, ha, <laughs> I fooled you. <laughs> but you know, over the age of 18, grown-up person? I can be a grown-up person. Uh, yeah, that's good. So I don't know what I'm talking about, but it's good face polishy scrub. I have a mini of the Anastasia, just learned how to say that right, brow gel in the clear non-color. I was gonna say color, but clear is not the color. I would not recommend getting the small version of this because the brush is just like powerless if you have kind of voluptuous brows as I do. So go for the big size of this, but that one is totally worth it. I have a Too Faced shadow insurance with me and this is an eye primer if you don't know. I have never used an 
my primer before. Is that crazy? This is my first one. I like it. Seems good to me. I have a Chanel palette in number 537. It's just kind of got warm tones, like chocolate brown, a pearl color, a pink color, and a kind of just medium brown taupe color. It's really nice if you're just trying to pack light. It kind of has all the colors you really need. A NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in the color Cashmere a brush. Nothing special. Okay, let's just dedicate this segment to lip colors because I'm a sicko and I like lip stuff. I'm probably gonna bring more lip stuff just to let you in on my secret because I need a red. There's no red here. Anyway, I have Revlon Color Burst Matte Balm in the shade Showy. The Chanel color in Extatique. Just a hot kind of shimmer pink. Makeup Forever Rouge Artist Intense Lipstick in number 32. A very medium pink color, kind of a your lips but better color. One of my new favorites, the NYX Butter Lipstick in Little Susie. Neon a kind of coral. I have my absolute favorite lipstick ever, right now at least. Chanel's Le Clatante, and it's just like a neon hot pink coral. I have my Chanel Tan de Soleil. This is a really nice bronzer. One of my must-haves, the NYX Waterproof Eyeliner Pencil in the color Rue Bonaparte. I line my waterline and around my eyes with this, and it makes me look like I have a normal sleep schedule, which I don't. Lies in a tube. Two mascaras because I am always using Maybelline's The Falsies. It's like my holy grail mascara, but somebody else has come into my life recently, and it's the They're Real from Benefit. I'm wearing this today, and oh my goodness, this really does make you look like you have false lashes on. Two more eye products. I have the Benefit Creaseless Cream Shadow in No Pressure. Just became very involved with this eyeshadow stuff this week because I was going out to a dinner kind of fancy thing and I wanted to look fancy as you do and I put this all over my lids and my eye makeup was just kind of all done because it's really flattering and pretty and simple. I have a brow pencil because I actually kind of contour my nose with this lately. I'm into that lately. I don't know where that came from. I have Girl Meets Pearl from Benefit. Love this stuff. It's like a multi-purpose wonderful product. It smells nice, it's got some soothing ingredients in it, and it's like one of the best highlighters ever. Speaking from a highlighter addict. And then I have the blush that I've been using as of late. This is the Dual Lip and Cheek Cream in the color Lilium from Stila. So, yay, that's empty, but I have one more thing to show you because I'm also bringing this. I have my little makeup bag that kind of resides in my purse all day. I have just a NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in there. My travel perfume, which is Boyfriend by Kate Walsh. A lip balm from Nivea in the Caramel Kiss flavor. Oh my gosh, I'm not even gonna go there with you. Best smelling lip balm ever. A big old Sephora mirror. I really like this because it unfolds and is big enough for me to actually do my makeup in. A Baby Lips from Maybelline. Understand Your Mother uh, Mouth Spray Peppermint Flavor because that helps. It doesn't help. It doesn't help. Don't understand still. And finally, I have just a waterproof hair tie which I got uh, in Hawaii a couple months ago. And it's just all in this little benefit for the sports sack bag that I just got. It's so cute. But I will spare you from more rhetoric about how cute my makeup bag is. You're welcome. Okay guys, so I know that was a lot and this was probably a long video, so I apologize if you felt fancy or like it was long. Sorry. But that is what I take with me and I know it's a lot, but tell me if you take more than I do, or you think I'm a crazy person for taking as much as I do, because I'd love to hear that. I'm just kind of interested if you guys think that's like a crazy amount of stuff, or 
that's like, you ain't seen nothing yet. I really appreciate you guys being here with me and I hope you join me every Monday and Friday I post a video. Please come along for that journey. I'd love to have you and uh, I will see you in the next video. Bye everybody. Hey, I'm gonna do my May favorites and I'm gonna show you some really awesome products this month that I'm really excited about. <laughs>